Hey there, what's going on fellow rock and roller friends? Peace and love and thumbs up and A-OK, -okay, Bunga and rock and roll to you. And guess what? Today, you see it in the description, we are going to be doing something interesting. At least I think it's interesting. We're taking the guitar and we're putting it in drop D slash open D tuning. Woo! You don't even need to hold any strings down. And it sounds awesome. It's a full D chord. So what that is, top string is in D, the string below that is in A, so that stays the same. String below that stays the same at D, but then the other strings, the G string goes down to D as well, the B string goes down to A, and the low string goes down to D. So you're changing the top E and the low E to D notes. You're changing the G string to a D note, and then you're ch changing the B string to an A note. So it's D, A, D, D, A, D. That's how it's tuned. Da dad, right? It's like dad, dad twice. D, A, D, D, A, D. All right. Sounds awesome. All right, so I'm going to show you a quick way that you can play rhythm and lead at the same time. That's what I love about playing in this tuning. Sounds so good. So just get our strumming down. And this is our rhythm. Now to play a lead part at the same time and have it sound awesome, I work on the second, fourth, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, twelfth, mainly. Then you can go fourteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and the nineteenth. But I generally work on two, four, five, seven. And if we're doing that, you can literally just play that. And it sounds awesome. Just on that bottom string, just on that high E string, the high sounding E string. And strumming all the other strings at the same time, open. That means not holding anything down except for that bottom string. So I like to do hammer-ons and pull-offs with this tuning. Going down on the note and then pulling off of it, so it's really cool. So check this out. So try that with me. Two zero four zero five zero six zero nine zero eleven zero twelve zero. So think of it as two four five seven nine eleven twelve. That's kind of what we're going to work on in this tuning, and we're going to make it a little faster. Let's try it a little faster. Try it again, a little bit faster. Even a little faster. Now add some more strumming to it, so it's like this. Five to the bottom string and then take it off. Woo! Sounds good, right? Now do it again. Five in the top and bottom string. Now go to four in the top and bottom string. Now go to two in the top and bottom string. And then open again. Let's try that again. Reverse. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. Oh, and you can have so much fun with that. Feel free having fun exploring open D tuning. Remember, it's D A D D A D. That's dad, dad. Dad spelled twice. D A D D A D. That's what all the strings are tuned to. Play it open. It sounds like a full, powerful D chord. And then adding those notes on 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 12 frets. And you will have a boatload of fun 
going all over in different combinations using two, four, five, seven, nine, and 11, and then the 12th fret. I'll just do a decent ascent, four, five, seven, nine, 11, just to show you what it sounds like with the fingers holding down the top and bottom strings of those frets. Good stuff. Peace and love. Thumbs up at AOK and Cowabunga and rock and roll. And we'll see you next time for who knows what. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye-bye.